Hey guys, it's Christy. Uh, welcome back to Littles and Loving It. So, um, just real quick, um, sorry about all the noise that you're about to hear in this video. <laughs> my children are not asleep. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, today I'm doing um, a video on how I do my high puff. Okay, anyway, um, this is a two-day-old braid out uh, that I'm going to turn into a high puff. It could have lasted longer than two days, but I did not um, re-braid last night, so I got to figure something out. So I'm just going to do a high puff. So some of the things you're going to need, this is a... Um, Water, aloe vera juice, and tea tree oil. You're gonna need something to spray your hair to kind of make it um, easier to move, I guess. I don't think I'm using the right word here. <laughs> but uh, anyway, you're gonna need something to moisturize with. I'm just using uh, Mazzani Butter Rich. Uh, love this stuff love it it really makes my hair like these two together really like make my hair super soft you're gonna need some gel i'm using this this to be honest you guys this uh this dries out my hair it makes it really dry um which is another reason why i'm doing something that moisturizes it so you're gonna need a gel i bought this it was only like a dollar but y'all know i'm cheap so if i bought it i'm gonna use it and i probably i probably won't be purchasing this again supposed to have argon oil in it but it still makes my hair dry so uh, you need a brush I have my dimming brush but I also have this um, bristle brush and yes I know it's disgusting um, you need like hard bristles though you can't use like the soft one like that I use for my, my baby's hair you need like a hard one I have a toothbrush for my edges I have a pick and I have this um, brat tail comb, but honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. Um, also, you need something to tie your hair up with. So, this was a um, goodies band that <laughs> I used to like. I stretched it out, basically, um, with my high puffs. So, um, I ended up cutting it and then tying it into a knot to kind of make it smaller. Because it was too too big to only do um two wraps around but then it was too small to do three so yeah um and then i have some uh bobby pins i have two four six bobby pins so um that's all you're gonna need just i guess watch me work You guys, you don't have to um, soak your hair down. You just want it to be able to kind of move easily. You don't want your hair to be stiff. I guess that's that's what I'm looking at. Look, the word I'm looking for. So you don't want it to be stiff. Okay, now, 
to keep it tight it's a kind of like putting an X shape in the back I'm gonna go ahead and put my bobby pins in to kind of hold it in place um, and I'm gonna insert the bobby pins in an X shape so I'll show you guys in a second what I mean show you guys what I mean by the X shape so if you take hold on back if you take two bobby pins and you put them in your hair and they're like this so you say this is your hair you put one in like this way and then you overlap the other one over it like that it'll make the um ponytail or whatever you're using it'll make it stay in place so that's what I mean by an X shape anyway so now this is pretty much it now I'm just gonna pick the hair out you don't want to pull your pick all the way through or else it kind of will pick out the um, shape and the, the, the definition of your puff now you can like if you want to have like a true afro look you can totally like pick it all the way out and it'll look like that that's not what I'm looking for so just pick it and that is pretty much it like that's pretty much the shape I was going for now um, to handle these edges <laughs> to handle these edges a little bit of gel now I don't do like the loop de loops and stuff <laughs> with my edges I don't all right, I don't like the loop de loops like that people do but I'm not gonna lie I do put a lot of gel on um, my edges because <laughs> I do want them to be laid like I don't always lay my edges but when I want them laid I want them to be laid and when I want them kind of like raw then I want them to be raw but Right now, I want these bad boys to stay where they are. I don't think I've used this gel on my um, edges yet. Because I just got this, I think like Christmas morning or something, I had ran out of gel. And so I went over to Family Dollar and got this. It was a dollar. So that's it. And then I'm going to... Um, wrap it up okay so I do not have a lot of time I have to get out of here but I'm about to wrap my hair up and probably for like not even five minutes and then I will come back and show you guys what it looks like Ooh. and I'm really just of course just wrapping the edges um, you kind of just like have to do it until the gel is like completely dry which really don't take that long um, I do wrap it tight Okay, if you don't have a headache, then it's not tight enough. <laughs> Wrap it up. And then I'm about to go, I'm going to clean up my mess real quick, throw my shoes on because I'm about to get out of here. And then I'll show you guys what the final product looks like. All right, guys. So it's been a couple minutes. I am about to take this down and see what we're working with. Okay, so that is... It um picks up this these are my edges. This is my high puff, just like the easiest style to do um when you're in a rush. So that's it. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like, like comment, and subscribe, and I will hit y'all back later. Deuces. Bye guys.